Woodstock 99 was the Trump administration of music festivals. You know, it was the same kind of thing. It was the lowest common denominator of sardonic, cynical bands that were just trying to take money out of dumb people's pockets without any concern for their well-being. It was very much a metaphor for what we're experiencing now. I remember getting out of the car and like somebody ran up to me with their face painted like a juggalo, the insane clown posse, you know, <laughs> just like running around. And I was like, oh, it's going to be like that, huh? <laughs> you know? know, so that occurred to me, like maybe it wasn't a good idea to have like all these rap rock bands, Corn and Limp Biscuit, and just this horrible music, you know, and I'm a music fan, but there was just, it was an awful time in music <laughs> right then. Like what was popular with sort of jacked up white boys essentially was like this just really aggressive, just crappy kid rock, that kind of yeah. stuff. That was kids big coming out performance. So the first night was awful and, and it got really violent. And on the side of the stage, the MTV people, when this guy, Fred Durst kind of came off from the side of the stage and said, look, people are starting to get hurt. The crowd started ripping down these pieces of wood that were like the fence, ripping it down. And people were like crowd surfing on this wood and women were getting sexually assaulted in these mosh pits and just horrific hell on earth stuff. Stuff, they said, Fred, you know, will you go out there and tell these people to calm down? They're starting to like tear up the fences and people are getting hurt. He listens and then walks back out on stage and goes, hey, they just told me to tell y'all to like not rip down those fences, but I think it looks pretty tight. And then they went oh. in a song called Break This and the place just exploded. And from that moment on, like a, a sense of evilness just descended on the place. And I got in a fight with Fred a few weeks later at the VMAs, because I called him on that bullshit. You know, they told you to tell that crowd to calm down and you told them it looked cool and went in to break this. I just want you to know, tons of women got assaulted and people got hurt and shit. And he was like, what? What are you gonna do about it? And I was like, hit me, dude. Hit me right now, dude. I will own you, <laughs> you know?